digital public infrastructure a new factor of production as it in the 21st century is instrumental in formalization of the economy number 4 goods and services tax has enabled one nation one market one tax tax reforms have led to deepening and widening of tax base number 5 strengthening of the financial sector has helped in making savings credit and investments more efficient number 6 gift ifsc and the unified regulatory authority ifsca are creating a robust gateway for global capital and financial services for the economy number 7 proactive inflation management has helped keep inflation within the policy band now the global context honorable speaker sir geopolitically global affairs are becoming more complex and challenging with wars and conflicts globalization is being redefined with reshoring and french shoring disruption and fragmentation of supply chains and competition for critical minerals and technologies a new world order is emerging after the covid pandemic india assumed the g20 presidency during very difficult times for the world the global economy was going through high inflation high interest rates low growth very high public debt low trade growth and climate changes the pandemic has led to a crisis of food fertilizer fuel and finances for the world while india successfully navigated its way the country showed the way forward and built consensus on solutions for those global problems the recently announced india middle east europe economic corridor is a strategic and economic game changer for india and others in the words of honorable prime minister the corridor and i quote will become the basis of world trade for hundreds of years to come and history will remember that this corridor was initiated on indian soil unquote wish vision for vikasit bharat